warned they're planning a post debate trip to Charlotte. The mayor's, the city's mayor asked both candidates to delay their visits. The 11 News reporter Jay Gray has the latest on tonight's protest and more on the video released today by the victim's family. A warning, the video may be difficult for some viewers to watch. Hundreds of protesters gathered again tonight in uptown Charlotte. The march at one point reaching Interstate 277 before being turned away by police in tactical gear. Three days after police shot and killed Keith Lamont Scott, the frustration is still building here. Adding to that anger, don't shoot him! This dramatic cell phone video, released today by his family, showing the confrontation between Scott and Charlotte police, officer shouting at him to drop what they perceive as a weapon. Shoot him! Scott's wife rushes to the scene, telling officers Scott has a traumatic brain injury. Oh, he doesn't have a gun. He has a TBI. He's not going to do anything to you guys. He just took his medicine. She screams at her husband. Gee, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Gee! Then, seconds later, the shots are fired. <laughs> the image disturbing and difficult to watch. My gut reaction was pure sadness, pure sadness for anyone to have to go through that. And the new video has stepped up the call from protesters. <laughs> for police to release body and dash cam footage of the shooting, something Charlotte's mayor called for again tonight. I have asked to have that release, and I have, I understand that it is not a complete picture. The complete picture. It's something so many want to see here as the investigation continues. Jay Gray, WBAL, TV 11 News. An attorney representing the Tulsa police officer charged with the death of 40-year-old Terrence Crutcher says she tried to de-escalate the situation before shooting Crutcher. Betty Shelby is charged with first-degree manslaughter in the case. Her attorney says she was so caught up in the encounter she didn't realize backup officers had arrived. Meanwhile, the funeral for Crutcher will be held tomorrow evening. A fundraiser set up for his four children has raised more than $150,000. A couple dozen people gathered tonight in Howard County calling on Sheriff Jim Fitzgerald that he should step down. It comes after the 11 News I team obtained an internal county report that substantiated claims that Fitzgerald created a hostile work environment and retaliated against deputies who did not support his re-election bid. Tonight, it was about moving forward. We want him to support recognize the fact that through his actions uh, he has lost the confidence and the trust of, of the public and he should resign from office. The group rallied at the Howard County Courthouse. County Executive Alan Kittleman and former County Executives have 